Hi there, my name is Sanjit. Today I'm going to check how we can implement servers and events. Servers and events means the client can listen to a server for the events and the server can send the events and the client can accept the messages. JavaScript provides an API called event source. So we can use that API to create an event source instance and listen to the server and accept the messages. Servers and events is unidirectional connection. That means we can only send message from server to client. We cannot send message from client to server. Here I'm going to implement client and server. First I'm going to implement the server. I'm going to use express for set up the server. Create a directory called ssc. Open it in vs code. Initialize yarn. Install the express package. And create a file called server.js. Now we can create an express app. And we can listen to the port 8000 and log a message to the console in the callback. We can set a get method handler for the root path, set response content type to event stream, and allow calls to all origins. Now we can send date string in every second. When client close the connection, we can log a message to the console, clear the interval and end the response. We can log a message to the console at the top of the handler. The server setup is ready. Now we can work on the client. We can create the index.html file. Create a division with messages as ID and embed the client.js file. Now we can work on client.js. Create an event source instance by adding our server URL as the first parameter. When there is a message, we can call the update message with the event data. When there is an error, we can call update message function with a message and we can close the event source. Let's create the update message function. Here we are appending a paragraph with the message to the messages element. Now the client setup is completed. We can serve the server. To serve the client, I'm going to use a npm package called serve. So I'm installing that with yarn. And serve the client with serve command. Now the client is served on port 5000. Let's open it in browser. Yes, the server console is showing there is a new client connection and we're receiving messages from the server. Let's close the server. Yes, we received the message. Let's serve again and try to close the client connection. Yes, the server console is showing the client is closed the connection. Thanks for watching this session. I hope this session helpful for you. See you in next video.